This video tutorial will discuss and review the most common output signal wiring configurations for a heat only temperature control loop. The typical outputs are AC logic, which includes both relay and triac, DC logic, DC analog, and valve actuator control. AC logic type, which again includes both relay and triac. The relay output type is just a mechanical switch that switches 120 or 240 volts AC when the controller tells it to turn on or off. While the relay output is very basic and simple, if your process turns on and off uh, rapidly, the relay can wear out over time. Typically, relay outputs are connected to mechanical contactors, mercury relays, or solid state relays with a line voltage command signal input. The triac output type is an AC style solid state switch. A triac works very similar to a relay, but instead of being a mechanical switch, it is a solid state device. It can turn on and off thousands of times more than a mechanical relay with no wear because there are no moving parts. In the wiring diagram that you see, you will note that we are using a Eurotherm 2216E temperature controller and a Eurotherm TE10S power controller with an AC input command signal. First, you wire your line voltage to terminal 1A of the temperature controller. Next, terminal 1B is the switched line voltage signal through either the relay contact or triac in the temperature controller. This wire from terminal 1B will be wired to the positive side of the input command on the power controller, which happens to be terminal 5 in this example. Next, to complete this AC circuit, you will need to wire terminal 6 from the power controller back to neutral. Now, when the temperature controller turns on or off the relay or triac, it will pass the line voltage signal to the input command of the power controller and the power controller will turn on to allow current flow to the heating element. DC logic. The DC logic output type is a DC style solid state switch. Because of mercury being now considered hazardous waste and frowned upon by industry, many clients are now using solid state relays instead of mercury contactors or mechanical relays. The solid state relay is turned on with a 3 to 32 volt DC signal. The DC logic output from the Eurotherm controller provides approximately a 12 volt DC output to turn the SSR or solid state relay on and off. The solid state relay can be pulsed extremely fast, making a good choice for proportional control of your heating application. In the wiring diagram that you see, you will note that we are using a Eurotherm 2216E temperature controller and a Eurotherm TE10S power controller with a DC logic input command signal. First, you wire your terminal 1A positive of the temperature controller to terminal 5 positive of the power controller. Next, terminal 1B negative of the temperature controller to terminal 6 negative of the power controller. This completes the output wiring for this style of control. Now when the temperature controller turns on or off, the DC logic output produces a 12 volt DC signal to the input command of the power controller and the power controller will turn on to allow current flow for the heating element. 